Hello, my name is Vika, I'm from Zentech company and today I will tell you how to set up a program for Little Planet Photo Booth. First, you need to go to the camera tab. Select your camera model and write its name and password below. You don't need to do anything else with the Garmin camera, but in order to launch Wi-Fi GoPro, open the GoPro mobile app on your phone and activate Wi-Fi. Go to the main tab. Here you can see the current status of the connection to the camera, the recording time, the size of the final video, and its duration. You can create photo and video, only video, while you can set that the program edition selects a frame for a photo from the video. And only a photo, while you can make a video from photo. The main advantage is that the processing takes a few seconds. If you change the recording time, the time of the final video will automatically change. By default, reverse is turned on, so the total duration is two times the recording time. It remains to set up printing and sending and you can start. If you want to print the final photo, then go to the photo tab and activate the appropriate function. Then select your printer. The sharing settings can be configured in App Settings Sharing Settings. Enter your email address. You can see the settings of Gmail uh, on the screen. Also enter your mail and password. In case if you use Gmail, then in the settings of your Google account, allow and save applications. In the email editor tab of the program, you can change the subject and text of the letter as well as the sender's name. Click full screen and save the start to see the window that the guests will see. If you see something went wrong, then the camera is not connected to the program. To return to the main menu, slide your mouse or finger from left to right at the top of the screen. A normal window looks like this. Click on the start button. You will see a countdown and start shooting. And then you will see a preview and the final result. You can click on share and send by mail, click retry to reshoot and finish to end the session. If you don't have a camera now, then you can use the test button to create photos and videos with the new settings by using archived videos from the camera. To open the process files, click on Open Media folder and select an appropriate folder done MP4 or done photo. Next, let's move on to more detailed settings and branding. Let's start with the photo. Go to the Photo VFX tab. Here you can adjust the image so that the camera stand is not visible. To do this, change the tripod setting. Scale is responsible for zooming in and out of the camera. You can also manually adjust where your camera will face. It will be useful if you have a banner or other element that the client certainly want to see in the frame closer. Click on the target icon to return to the default viewing angle. Below are the color correction settings. The activated quick preview button automatically loads the last process photo. If you want to load another photo for the preview, then use the load file button and turn off the quick preview. If you want to overlay your logo or frame on top, then you need to go to the photo tab. Here you can upload your PNG file for vertical and horizontal format. If you point to the question mark, then each function will have a description with the required file sizes and comments. To the right, you will see the name of the file that is currently selected. You can also add a PNG file to which FX will be applied. Take a look at examples. Below you can configure when the photo will be taken, before or after the video. You can also select the number of prints in the print settings. You can also let the person choose the number of copies himself, while you can limit the maximum volume. Now let's open Video 360 VFX. Here you can also hide the stand and change the zoom, as well as adjust the color correction. It's also possible to choose one of the effects and its speed. The settings of the recording duration from the main menu is also duplicated here. Branding is configured in the Video tab. Here you can choose widescreen or square format and load the branding into the appropriate tabs. PNG overlays is an overlay of logo and frame etc. in PNG format. Move overlay is an animated file in a move format with an alpha channel. Intro is the file in the beginning of the clip, outro is the file at the end of the clip. It can be an image or video. You will be able to see the duration of the final video with an intro and outro in the main menu. PNG VFX will be applied to the currently selected format. See examples with different overlays. Add audio is adding music. Fade is a smooth start and fade out of the music at the end. 
below picking up figure transitions and enable disable reverse. In the render tab you can adjust the size of the final video and the hardware acceleration settings. Just try different settings of hardware acceleration. On which processing is faster, we leave them. If you want to check the settings without connecting the camera, then in the main menu there is a test button for processing all videos with new data. Now let's customize the screen so that the guests see. To do this, go to the App Settings Customization Start Screen. Here you can upload an image and video file of the background as well as change the appearance of the start button. You can also use text instead. By clicking text color, you can select its color. At its start button area, you will open an additional settings window where you can increase or decrease the size of the button. You can also increase the size of the start button zone. Default will return everything to default settings. OK will return you to the main menu. Countdown screen is responsible for the countdown. You can turn it off on own, use your video as a countdown, and use an image or video background and text. Below you can change the number of seconds and change the text that people will see. Any countdown area allows you to see the countdown screen and resize the displaced items. Record screen – an image or video that the person will see during shooting. Processing screen – allows you to select a background for processing screen as well as activate the preview. Please note that branding, intro and other customization elements are not visible in the preview. Videos and photos with them will be available after processing. In the Sharing tab, you can enable or disable the Sharing Screen Display mode if, for example, you only want to print photos. We can also add the background of the screen, the message when setting, and the time until the Sharing window is closed. And if you click the On Edit theme, you can edit the theme of the Submit window. You can choose one of the existing ones or customize the colors of all elements. Sharing Touch Keyboard allows you to suggest several options for quick ending in advance. Convenient for corporate events when you know the corporate domain. We have it for example Zentech.room. In the Preferences tab you can also change the theme of the program you see and also set a password to open the admin window so that the guests not, do not accidentally enter the admin panel. That's all, you're ready for your event!